Hey there, how you doing? This is Coach Carvel Bailey. And so in today's video, um, I want to talk about, I want to drop some helpful hints for parents um, and being realistic for parents who is looking for exposure, right, for their athlete. So this video today is to be able to help you with exposure for your athlete, all right? So I've been talking to, you know, I talk to parents basically each and every day. And one of the biggest things that parents have a misconception of or what they've been taught over and over and over again is that your athlete needs exposure. Your athlete needs exposure. You need to get to this tournament. You need to play on this team. You need to go to this school, play in this particular neighborhood to be able to get exposure. Well, one thing that I always say, if they're not necessarily ready and if they are going to be on the court doing things that may not um, like highlight their strengths, and may bring awareness to some things that they're not strong at, right? You don't want that to happen. So where they're going to get exposure, they mess around and get exposed, all right? But that's a whole nother topic at a whole nother time. But today, for those parents that want to get exposure and you're taking your kid everywhere, doing a lot of these things to be able to get your kid exposure, well, the one thing that I ask three of these parents over the past few days is one question. I said, does your child, you want to get your child exposure. And so what happens now if a coach takes interest? Are you prepared for that? He said, like, what do you mean? I said, does your athlete have an NCAA ID number? What's that? <laughs> Parents, don't talk exposure if your kid doesn't have an NCAA ID number, right? So the first thing that you want to do, right, as long as you're, student athlete is a freshman or better right the very first day that they enter into high school as a freshman they're eligible to get an ncaa id number and this allows for coaches allows um you know now they can track they can follow your student athlete really around athletically right or academically let me say but without that ncaa id number they're just another basketball player, if that makes sense. And it shows that maybe they aren't serious or they may not know everything that they should for the grade that they're in. So there are a couple of different ways that this can happen for your athlete, right? So you can go to the NCAA website. I believe it's NCAA.org, right? Or you can go to eligibilitycenter.org and get that. NCAA ID number for your athlete. Now, even with that, you have to know what type of account do you want to get? Do you want to get a certification account or do you just want a profile account, right? But all of these things are things that we go over with our clients um, to be able to help not only the parent, but also the athlete um, to put themselves in the best position to get that exposure. Because regardless if you're at a tournament with 3,000 players or 300 players or if you're just one individual in a small town you can still get recruited <laughs> either way all right so listen before you go really really talk talking and standing on um, exposure for your athlete make sure that they're prepared and they have some of their ducks in a row as we used to say right to be able to now go from that coach having a little interest to now building that relationship otherwise they're just going to be an average another basketball player if that makes sense all right so listen um if you know you are a parent and you're unaware um or maybe confused or not knowing about this whole recruitment process and you would like to be able to get help for your athlete and be able to help them with whatever thing is stopping them right now from getting that recruitment offer right then definitely reach out to us if you like our help uh reach out to us but if you haven't checked out our free case study video definitely go check that out um to be able to help give you right some clues and three key tips to put you and your athlete in position to start on your own. All right, so you can go check that out at be the right recruit.com, www.betherightrecruit.com. But again, make sure you got that NCAA ID number 
before you really get to start talking exposure. And then on the other side, make sure once you have that number that your athlete is confident and they understand uh, how to highlight their strengths and not necessarily their limitations because they may only get one shot for someone to take notice at them. And you want to make sure that it counts at that particular time. All right, Coach Carvel Bailey, that's today's video, helping you help your athlete get recruited. Peace.